Hi, welcome back. This is the KLI Gamer. It's time for a brief pickups video now. It's uh, just highlighting some of the 16 bit games that I managed to pick up for the uh, Sega Mega Drive and the Nintendo Super Famicom. Both are Japanese uh, consoles, and these are Japanese releases for those consoles. We'll start off with the Mega Drive games now. First one up is uh, Cood Buster. I managed to pick this up, it's uh, in decent condition, it's not too bad. Uh, the odd dink here and there, but it's not too bad overall. The uh, price of that one was about 10 quid. The only problem with that one is it's uh, boxed with the cartridge, but the manual's missing, unfortunately. Uh, I have also got the Genesis version of this game, and it's uh, also boxed, missing the manual. I was hoping to pick one up with the manual, but uh, the prices for those are really stupid at the moment, so I'm just going to go with uh, the boxed cartridge version. As I say, that was a decent price, that was around about a tenner. UK seller that one. Also, another UK seller for this one, and this is eSWAT. This one's boxed, complete with the manual. Nice condition, no damages. It's uh, unbelievably stupid cheap price I paid for that as well. I paid £2.40 plus £2.60 or £2.80 post, something like that. And I say it's box complete, no real damages, the manual looks uh, hardly used, the cartridge is uh, virtually mint. It's no stick appeal, no damages, no real scuffing. So it's, uh, it's a nice item, especially for the price. It's a really nice price. I was very, very happy with that one. It just shows sometimes you can actually uh, get a good price for stuff on eBay if you if you just drop on there at the right time. Two Super Famicom games I managed to pick up. First one up, Gradius 3. That one's box complete. That was from Japan. Uh, a little bit of shelf wear on the, like on the edge of the box there. But uh, no real damages to the box, especially considering its age now, as it's uh, what heading for 22 years old. All in all, it's very nice. Uh, I did own Gradius uh, 3 in the past when I had my first RGB hardwired Famicom, Super Famicom. Uh, it's the cart as well, the cart's nice, decent condition, no real yellowing. Here's the manual, no real damage to the manual, a couple of very light creases in the middle of the manual, nothing really uh, drastic. And the final pickup, 16 bit pickup, is Area 88, otherwise known as UN Squadron. That one's nice as well, nice condition. It's a decent game that, if anyone wants to pick it up, I'm sure most folk are familiar with it. But, uh, again, I paid 14 quid for that one from Japan. Manuals in nice nick as well, no real damages. Box complete. The box ain't in bad condition for its age either, really. It's a couple of slight creases, a couple of little scuffs here and there on it, but all in all, it's not too bad. It's a slight creasing dent on the side there, but just a little bit of a dink on the side there. Considering the, the the age of it, I don't consider that too bad actually. It's the trouble with the old car boxes. You've got to be really careful with them, otherwise they get damaged. Maybe we have a bit of uh, Samurai Showdown on the Wii. It's a Samurai Showdown anthology actually. 